Astronomers recently carried out the largest ever cosmological computer simulation dubbed Flamingo. The simulation accounted for not only dark matter, but also ordinary matter, such as planets, stars, and galaxies, allowing us to glimpse how our universe evolved. Flamingo calculated all components of the universe according to the laws of physics, but some things simply didn't add up. It wouldn't be the first time recent discoveries challenged our regular cosmology model. Has the standard model finally reached a crossroads where scientists must either accept that a revision is necessary, or is there an explanation for this discrepancy too? Let's find out. With advancements in space technology, astronomers can view the universe from a sparkling new lens, one that challenges the norms and stretches our imagination to the point of no return. Whatever we have deduced about the vast expanse surrounding us is contingent on past observations and theories. But despite the mathematics supporting these theories, several variances that are hard to explain are creeping up. This crisis in cosmology emerged when scientists attempted to measure the universe's age using different methods. Each method yielded different results. Some coincided, while others defied all odds and remained unexplainable. This crisis took a turn for the worse when the James Webb Space Telescope began peering back into the beginning of our universe and revealed astonishing facts that starkly contrasted with our standard model of cosmology. The universe is expanding. This is a well-established fact that all scientists agree on. It was first proposed by a Russian physicist, Alexander Friedman, in 1922, and again independently in 1927 by Belgian astronomer Georges Lemaitre. The theory was finally confirmed through observational evidence in 1929 by American astronomer Edwin Hubble. But while the expansion of the universe is widely accepted, there is considerable debate about the rate at which it is expanding. Two very precise estimates of the rate at which the universe is expanding disagree with one another. This is called the Hubble tension. Initially, this variance wasn't considered important as scientists disregarded it as an error in one or both of the estimates. However, recent observations and measurements suggest this discrepancy is very real, leaving scientists puzzled and the standard model of cosmology in a crisis. Understanding the universe's rate of expansion can be tricky. When you imagine the universe's expansion, you assume it is uniform and constant. Every object is moving away from the other at the same rate. However, in reality, the universe is expanding very differently. The objects that are more distant from Earth move away quicker than the ones closer to us. In round numbers, distant galaxies move away from the Earth at 70 kilometers per second for every million parsecs of distance. Thus, a galaxy at 1 megaparsec from the Earth moves away at 70 kilometers per second, whereas a galaxy at 2 megaparsecs away moves at 140 kilometers per second. This rate is called the Hubble constant. Now the problem is that there is more than one way to calculate the Hubble constant. The most straightforward one is to measure the distances to galaxies and simultaneously measure their velocity. You can then determine the galaxy's velocity as a function of distance. When you use this method, the Hubble constant comes out at about 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This value is also called the late time version computed at a period when the universe was well developed. Another way to determine the Hubble constant is by studying the state of the cosmos shortly after it formed. When the universe began 13.8 billion years ago in a cosmic cataclysm called the Big Bang, the explosion resulted in a glowing fireball and a rumbling sound. In the beginning, light couldn't pass through the fireball, but when the cosmos was a mere 0.003% of its current age, Expansion allowed the universe to cool down enough to allow light to escape the fireball and travel across the cosmos. Over the eons, the light is no longer visible, but that once visible light can be observed through radio antennas as microwaves. This is also known as the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, and was first detected in 1964. The Big Bang also produced sound waves that locked into the early fireball. The same waves create tiny variations in the CMB. Astronomers can measure these variations precisely. Combining the variance patterns with all the factors relevant to the Big Bang and the universe's evolution, scientists predicted another value of the Hubble constant, 67.5 kilometers per second per megaparsec. The second approach is based on early time information, while the first one uses data from the late time. If all the assumptions of our cosmology model are correct, the Hubble constant should be the same from both methods. 
However, a discrepancy of this magnitude shows that some of our theories may need to be revised in order to match the other values. In other words, there is more science out there to discover. If the Hubble tension wasn't enough, a new discrepancy has emerged with the Flamingo simulation. Recently, an international team of astronomers carried out what is believed to be the largest ever cosmological computer simulation to explain how our universe may have evolved. Dubbed the Flamingo, this simulation is unique as it tracks ordinary matter along with dark matter because even though dark matter dominates gravity, it would be foolish to continuously ignore the contribution of ordinary matter in the universe's evolution. The latest simulation highlighted another discrepancy, which hints at the inaccuracy of our current cosmology model. It revealed the S8 tension, but let's start at the beginning so you can understand why the simulation's results are significant. When astronomers study the universe, they use the S8 parameter for investigation and analysis. This parameter characterizes how lumpy or closely clustered all the matter in our universe is and can be measured precisely with what are known as low redshift observations. Redshift is used to measure the distance of a galactic object from Earth, and low redshift studies like weak gravitational lensing surveys, reveal processes in the earlier universe. Interestingly, astronomers can also determine the S8 value using the standard cosmology model. All they need to do is tune the model to match the known properties of the CMB and calculate the lumpiness of matter from there. But this is where the problem begins. The S8 value calculated through CMB experiments is much higher than the weak gravitational lensing surveys. Scientists have been trying to reconcile this difference for years without any breakthroughs. This discrepancy is called the S8 tension. Cosmologists previously believed this tension could be explained by accounting for dark and ordinary matter through the universe's evolution. However, despite taking into account the effects of ordinary matter and dark matter, Flamingo was unable to explain the S8 tension. Unlike dark matter, ordinary matter is controlled by gravity and pressure from gas across the universe. The recent computer simulation accounted for everything, including the most extreme galactic winds, but it could not explain the weak clumping of matter observed in the present-day universe. One of the researchers and co-author of the three new studies on the Flamingo Project, Joop Shea, confessed, Here I am at a loss. An exciting possibility is that the tension is pointing to shortcomings in the standard model of cosmology, or even the standard model of physics. So, does this mean the standard cosmology model is flawed? There is a possibility the model needs revision, but until more details emerge, simulations like the Flamingo can bring us a step closer to understanding what causes tensions like the S8. Currently, the team speculates that ordinary matter may affect the universe more strongly than scientists previously anticipated. But that also seems unlikely as simulations coincide well with observed properties of galaxies and galaxy clusters. Perhaps dark matter has exotic self-interacting properties not considered in the standard model, and the S8 tension is actually pointing at a large-scale breakdown in the theory of gravity. But the ultimate head-scratcher is that the universe is much less lumpy than previously predicted in the standard model. However, despite that discrepancy, the CMB and low redshift measurements remain consistent with standard model predictions. It would seem the universe behaved as expected for a significant fraction of cosmic history. But that something changed later on in cosmic history. So for now, the S8 tension remains a mystery. Remember to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell for more thrilling space videos.